Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a little update on the 63 Ragtop, getting some work done. Like you've seen previously, we've got both of these welded on, rear body mounts, quarter panels. This I have to play with because there's supposed to be a double section in here that we're going to do. I might adjust the angle of this because, as you see, it's kind of slanted back, not supposed to be like that. And we have to make a patch for here. This is cut. That's right there. You've seen all that. Other side's the same. Welded, ground, flush, everything. You saw that last week. What you didn't see is I have fit the engine lid now. And on this side, fits pretty good. The gap is quite wide at the top. But this lines up, body line lines up. Come across over here, whoa, paint can. Body line lines up, sticks a little high, gaps wide again. Doesn't quite line up. Now, I think that's just the rear end can get pulled over. This can get adjusted. But the point of putting that on was now I can fit the rear apron. I can, I want to adjust the lid, make it fit, make it fit the apron. If I open this, you'll see this one, last week, I was worried it was in the wrong spot. It was in the wrong spot. I was able to take the old one that I still had, because you save all your parts, put it on the marks where I ground it down, traced it, put the new one there, and wouldn't you know it, when you put the new panel where the old panel was, all the numbers start to line up. Now, the new panel is not exactly the same. You can see the gap's a little wide at the bottom there because I cut it based on my original measurements, which doesn't matter. It's where it needs to be now. So, we're good there. We're gonna weld that on uh, soon because a new welding liner is in the mail from Amazon because I think that's the problem with our welder. Now, unfortunately, that means that this side is gonna have to get cut out and readjusted, reassessed based on those measurements on this side so they both match because I want them to match and be perfect because the goal for this car is perfection. But that's in. So with that in, we're going to have to grind all these welds out or drill them or something. It's going to be terrible. I'm not looking forward to it. We're going to grind those out fit the other side and call that good but I'm gonna start playing probably in here um, cleaning that welds up making the flanges fit and such we have a little rust repair to do down here I have a panel for it so we're good there well guys as to be expected with one of my videos something is going to ride you see I spent a good deal of time fabricating a piece to go in here because there was a piece there on the original car and I made a piece and I uh, formed it and metal finished it and it fit real good and I'm pretty sure I prepped it and painted it ready to go I have no clue where it is now I've seen it I know I've seen it and I just cannot find it. So I'm going to have to clean more because it's surprisingly clean around here and find it. So, well guys, frankly, I don't know what to show you now because I was going to show you installing that panel and it's gone. Don't know where it is. Not the slightest idea. I mean, it's not on my toolbox, it's not in the drawers, it's not in the car, it's not down there, it's not on the transmission. I don't know. So, we're going to throw the apron on real quick. We can show you that. I want to show you something getting under this car. So, we don't have the highest quality apron. I think it's an IGP. Uh, but it's an apron that's new or it's new Fits 
it's as good as one might hope. Hey, but it's starting to look like a car then, oh, isn't it? Well, the bolts are iffy. I took this one out, but you can see we're going to have a good time trying to fit this apron. Um, my biggest concern is this area here. Uh, the stamping is a little rough, so we'll probably have to do it with a hammer, make it fit better. Both sides are like that. Um, now I have measurements to check. We're also going to have to modify this apron. It's meant for uh, 65 and up. So 65, 66 with the bolt on catch. 64 and down has a weld on one, so I have my original apron somewhere. Over there. We're going to remove that catch, put it on there with a welder, and you'll never know. So we'll do that. But we have some things to fit. Obviously that doesn't fit. I want to get this settled beforehand. So make the lid fit or bar all in to make sure everything fits. Um, both sides are funky. But we're going to want to fit a known good deck lid to this, to the fenders. Once this is on, the apron that is. The engine lid doesn't matter. And I fixed that. I have two new shelves for the engine bay. One's here. You've seen this. We're going to install these. That'll be the back half of the car done. Then we'll move on. That quarter, which I already started. This quarter. And we'll just keep moving forward. I have one heater channel. Gonna order another one, gonna order fours, keep moving forward. That's our plan right now. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the amount of work that we've gotten done on it so far. I mean, I haven't worked on it much this summer. It's been pretty warm, been working on other cars. As I'm filming this, I have to paint the police car like tomorrow uh, because the police car show is very soon and it's gonna be raining. So unless I paint it tomorrow, it's gonna be getting pulled in here and paint the nose but we've gotten a lot done on it you know rear body mounts bumper brackets the uh, firewall lots of getting done we've got a small problem over here where the door doesn't close anymore that's because the end the uh, body stand is in the way what I'm thinking lots of stuff on the floor oh, all screws what I'm thinking is as soon as I get rear end wrapped up on this cart, make a new cart that bolts to the body mounts for heater channel installation and painting, because that'll make things a lot easier. When they painted these cars in the factory, the underside didn't really get painted too well. We're gonna do a really good job under there. But, so if I put little stands, you know, little square tube with a bolt welder to the top where I can bolt the body down and then stringers to you know put it all together that'll be great a beetle body length is about the same uh, from the beginning to the end you know 68 presents yeah, you put a shim there or uh, rather 69 you know put a block there because the body mount moves up you know, super beetle completely different so it would be a different stand but it doesn't matter That'll get done, probably. So, that's probably going to wrap this one up. Um, not much got done. Not really an update, because we did do kind of some stuff. We fit the rear apron. I wanted to show you some other stuff we were doing, but I can't find that piece. I really have no clue where I would have put that piece. So, we'll see. So, tomorrow, I think Jay said he'll be putting out the video where we do something pretty cool. So, you'll want to check out his channel for that. 5150 MXVW. Sure, you're familiar with it if you're watching me. He's a lot bigger, but we're doing something pretty cool, so I think you'll want to watch that. But till the next time on this channel, 
Take care, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.